Good morning guys. Welcome to another video, episode, whatever one you want to call it. It is Tuesday today. I don't know the date, but it's about half five in the morning. Uh, you've just seen my little morning routine at the moment. Um, quite push for time, so that's why we're walking and talking. Um, yeah, my morning's a bit like an army operation. Uh, stuff's got to be done, you know. So, I'm just getting in the car now, going gym. Uh, leg day today. I'm very much looking forward to this session. I said very much looking forward to this session. Um, Apologise about the camera issues um, but no as you just seen uh, just some meal prep in the morning um, I'm just getting ready for the gym really as I said it's half five we woke up at quarter to five um, sorry lines are shit we woke up at uh, quarter to five got weighed in got my blood glucose uh, readings done Came downstairs, started prep, um, took my blood pressure, so all health markers have been taken and put into the database. All meals have been prepped, well three of my rice meals that I do before the gym have been done. The other three I'll do when I get home, um, just so I split it up, it makes it a bit easier for me. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the gym now, um, it's checking today as well, so I may get some footage of that, um, but no leg day, so very much looking forward to this. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. So coming up to six o'clock now, we just got to the gym. Um, first thing I will do when I get to the gym on Tuesday is checking. So uh, we need to take front, side, back shots, um, send them over to Luke on my check-in. Um, and that's that's what we'll do. Um, always checking the shots, taking fasted. So I don't eat, you know, before even training. So. That's fine, we can get to the gym, take shots, and then um, we'll get on with this leg session, which I'm looking forward to. So, feel good today though, um, feel fresh, was excited last night for legs, um, which I usually am. Um, so, that's always good, that always puts me in a good mindset going into today, um, just with how I feel the night before. Um, always slightly a bit nervous, which is, which is always good, and then you wake up again. Get the butterflies because you know it's day, so get his check-in done. I might show you how we're looking, um, and then we'll get on with the session.
So that is legs wrapped up. Another good session in the books. Another good session ticked off. Um, hit all my weights that I wanted to hit today. All sets, top sets, back off sets we wanted to hit. We got so we've got good form as well. Um, I put up a post yesterday after push and just mentioned that you know I film all all of my top sets mostly um, so I can compare say this week's set to last week's set um, and make sure they're pretty much completely the same um, just so that progression is equal throughout the week that we're not cheating ourselves going into a week and you know adding a rep or two and calling that progression where those last two reps could be shit and form could leave you know and um, we don't want that so by filming sets, top sets especially, um, we can compare to last week's, to the week before. Um, you know, the tempo's got to be the same, the execution, the form, um, how we are in the set has got to be the same throughout every week. Even if load's getting increased, even if reps are getting increased, we've got to look the same. So um, that's my reason for filming my top sets. And just documenting um that's what i like to do on instagram just literally document every day what i'm doing um in the gym training wise um you know and as you scroll down say we choose incline smith like we did yesterday you should see every rep is pretty much similar um tempo is similar but the weight changes which is what we want we don't want weight changing and then reps speeding up or um you know tempo getting getting fast as the as reps go on because you know you've got to hit certain numbers so um, you know if, if we're not if we're not hitting those hitting those reps and hitting the same tempo same, same execution then go back take another week to try and hit that set take another week to um, execute that movement properly before you think about starting to progress movements um, that's the main thing I've tried to work on since coming back to the gym after lockdown um is that um filming everything looking back you know taking a day 
at the end of the week, end of your training week, and go through all your videos. Um, you know, say you have five or six exercises in a session, that's five or six top sets, that's five or six videos that you should have for each session, uh, where you can look back on the previous weeks and build up a kind of logbook, but a visual logbook. Um, because we, do, we obviously I have my logbook as well where I write my program down and um, write everything in, in there. But I also have a logbook on my phone, a logbook in the, in the videos, and uh, I can compare week to week what I'm doing and making sure that I'm pretty much exactly the same as I said, tempo, reps, all that kind of stuff in the set. It's got to be the same before I start adding a lot of load and adding more reps and stuff. So. Um, but yeah, that was my thought for yesterday. Uh, I think it's very important that people understand that and that um, you don't just chuck on weight for the sake of it when ego can get in the way, which I have done, I'm not gonna lie. I've done before um, and ego's what got in the way of that, but you gotta leave it at the door and come in with a fresh mind and and think and think that way. So, um, sorry, there's a lorry if you can see, like an inch away from my car. Okay, we're going to be stuck here for a while, so. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just share that. Um, but anyway, leg done today. Um, we did a five minute walk before, five minute walk after, just to make sure that cramp didn't set in because I've got 15, 20 minute drive now home um, and we don't want to cramp up or, or anything. So we'll get some electrolytes in when we get home. And uh, yeah, post-workout, morning cardio has got to go in as well. So 25 minutes on the bike. Um, and yeah, I'll probably see you sometime then. This is our post-workout meal. 125 gram Coca Pops. One scoop away. You have no idea how much joy this bowl gives me in the morning. I think about it all workout. All session I'm just thinking about this. Um, then the last time that we up weight, we got up to 150 grams of Coca Pops. So I'm hoping that we get up to this time. I'm on 125 at the moment. Um, the lowest it's been, I think, it was 50. Um, when we were dropping weight, it was 50 grams of Coca Pops post workout. So that was pretty tough. But I'm happy. Gonna get this in because I'm starving. Um, go for our 25 minutes on the bike, morning cardio, shower. Get me on two in, and then that's pretty much it. The day just goes on. Um, not working today, but we are tomorrow, so. Um, food preparation, as you saw, was done first thing in the morning before the gym, um, three meals. And then normally if I do have work, which is 10 till 10 or 12 till 10, um, I will prep the next three meals, or well, next two meals because I have one at home. Next two meals I'll prep um, when I get home from the gym. So after my shower, I prep the two meals, pack it all up. So I'm taking four, four or five meals to work. Um, so they need to be prepped. I'm doing it before the gym, which I only started doing about two weeks ago, just to give me a bit more time um, in the gym. So I'm not stressing, so I'm not like, you know, thinking that I've got to get back to prep meals. The meals are already done, so 
don't think about that. Um, just to give me a bit more time in the gym training. Because um, I like to take my time, don't like to rush. Uh, I think today's session as well, just over two hours. Um, so I try and keep it two hours on the dot. Um, legs is a bit of a longer session, so we can allow an extra 10 or 15 minutes. But yeah, can I get his meal in? Um, cardio, shower, next meal. So we have actually fast forwarded to just come past eight o'clock, having my last meal of the day, which is 125 gram of oats, two scoops of whey, isolate, and some frozen berries. I'm gonna get one apple. Um, but yeah, I'm just going through the day, going through all our meals. If it was a bit boring, didn't really need to document it as I've done it in the last two or the, or the first one I did, one of these vlogs, um, day in life, full day of eating. So if you haven't watched that, go back and watch the full training day of eating, watch the full rest day of eating. Um, you can see what typical kind of, um, what the nutrition plan is at the moment. So it hasn't changed. Only a few weights, grams of rice, grams of oats and stuff have changed. So, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there for today. Um, what I kind of wanted to get across was my morning routine, which is kind of my busiest part of the day. Um, you know, prepping meals, training, pre post workout what happens around draining kind of thing. So that's what I want to get across today. Um, all the meals in between that and tonight, you know, are pretty, pretty straightforward. Fish, rice, beef and rice, turkey and rice. And then this last meal is going in now. Um, after this, I'll do 30 minutes on the bike pre-bed and I'll try and get into bed for about nine, half nine. And then it's rest day tomorrow. So, but yeah, if you haven't already, go back and watch our leg session that we did at Ultraflex and the videos before that. Some good content on there, so appreciate all the support that everyone's um, given me by watching, liking, sharing, um, all that stuff is very much appreciated. So um, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.